I met a guy for happy hour under the guise of work. I wondered if it might be something more and was excited to see if there was any chemistry. We had a deep spiritual connect conversation and the discussion flowed effortlessly. I have a pattern of attracting men who appreciate me for my spiritual glow, but then aren't interested in me romantically. I keep wondering if this will turn into something more. What comes to me to say is stop trying to look for someone at work that's going to be romance. I'm not, you, maybe you're not looking for them there, but let's just uncouple these ideas. It doesn't mean we can't meet someone through work. I'm just saying that if you're meeting for work, make it work. Talk about work. By all means, do it spiritual. Like that's, we want to infiltrate the spirituality of who we are and, and the lessons in every day, whether it's work or play. So I'm not saying not to be spiritual. I'm just saying, take that lens off that this is about looking at the guy for a romantic partner. And if it turns out to be, how lovely, right? How lovely if there's something a little bit more. But I would also say is that because you're sort of looking for this, that you really want to keep the boundaries of the discussion so that you can read the room, if you will. Like, and I mean, read that person. So what I mean by that is that you want to feel into, is it just me having a fantasy about this person or are the cues really clear? Because if a man is interested in a woman and granted, yes, some men are nervous, <laughs> don't have the confidence, don't want to you know, take charge and jump in. But most men, in fact, if it's a man that you really are interested in, because I get the feeling that you're a very confident woman, that the man's going to jump in and he's going to let you know that he's interested. He's going to let you know with either some really great comment or compliment or maybe something awkward. Um, but you know that they have a romantic interest in you. They say things like, Oh, you know, I'm single or, you know, whatever. So if you're leaving a situation and you have no idea, someone's, someone's marital status, that also gives you some signs, right? Or relationship status. And again, it's work. I'm not saying that, people from work are going to tell you all this, but I'm saying you're asking like, if this is a pattern where you're looking for them to be romantic, then <laughs> they're going to give you the cues to know. And then if they're not giving you those cues, just be really confident and clear in yourself that this is a work relationship and leave it at work. Don't start fantasizing about, oh, could it be more? We have this in-depth conversation. No, stop it right there and just be like, thank you. I met this wonderful man. We had great conversation and that's going to be work. And then we don't treat it like we would if we were interested in dating someone because they haven't given us any of those signals and keep moving on. And I'm saying this because you're suggesting that there's a pattern here. And so there's, a, it sounds like maybe a mismatch in interest level for romance. And so you want someone, honestly, you want someone who you feel like they could lean over and kiss you at any point in time. And I don't mean that from a sexual place. I don't mean that from a lustful place. I just mean that from like a romantic interest place. All right. If any of you listening on the replay or live have a situation where you've had something like this happen, I would love to hear from you. Um, if you know what I mean about that spark that you know for sure, whether you're a woman or a man listening right now, I'd love to hear what you have to say about that spark and whether you take action and or you give the person the cue that you're interested romantically. And if you're not, you don't. Please, if you're watching on replay, comment, uh, like, subscribe. You'll get notifications anytime that I'm going live, but it's 11:11 every Sunday Pacific time. 